what is up so how do you make a racing game ai for your opponent and all this is how you can do that in dreams ps4 it's really simple this is actually one of the most simple games you can actually make and i made it very quickly and there's a lot more i can build upon this so if you guys want more racing game tutorials or sports type games tutorials feel free to ask the ai for the car there's some things that you can do to it to make it a little bit more smart but for the most part the heart of the car you want it to be faster but you also want it to know all the shortcuts of the racetrack if you're versing um, a high level computer or ai if that makes sense so let's go ahead and begin with this first off the car is actually inside of a puppet what do i mean this is what i did so i pulled out this place it down scoped in may have deleted it first or I may have searched for the card that I wanted to use placed it down then linked it then deleted the puppet but either way you're gonna want to delete the puppet for the most part then what you want to do after you've deleted the puppet is copy my settings that you see here and this is for the player card that you control you want to go here And instead of um, those settings right here for the hitbox, you want it to be these settings. You want to change everything that you see I changed. So this off for the player car, auto look off. For this one, I click this and then click the car. I turned off motion controls and if there's anything you see that I've done that I'm missing if you like see it in the tabs that you know I'll just do it I have this on but you might not have to turn that on there's some things you might not even have to do but I do have that on so that way like if you're like on a slope it'll like go up the slope right I think right here I have this turned up from 30 to 90 you might not have to do that but you can mess around with it and here's my turn speed you can mess around with your car's turn speed and acceleration and stuff like that I turned this up to 28.5 before I plugged L2 or R2 into here it's probably R2 so that's from the control sensor within here within your uh, puppet logic that's what this is and then the base speed, if you like to move the controller like this, is just 6.2. But if you hold R2, then it can uh, kind of accelerate, if that makes sense. The car has no label, so it's unlabeled. It can collide with everything. And here this is. Next, what you want to do is go to your base car after scoping in. Then you want to make this movable. Then I think you want to turn off it, what it collides with. You might have to. No labels. That's what I did. You might have to. I don't think you'll have to do anything more, but I want to just make sure I'm not leaving anything out. You know what I'm saying? So if you have problems doing this, setting this up yourself, just let me know then I'll try to help you but this should pretty much be it this should be it um and that's how you get your car set up next what you'll want to do is delete whatever makes your player jump no jumping cars and you'll want to put that into the walk and you might want to delete the motion control out of here also you mess around with it then R2's into in the run speed. And I think that's it for uh, for the car. After you're done with that, you can clone it. You should be able to clone it. And you can change the car, but make sure you do everything that I did for this car if you uh, change the layout of the car for your uh, opponent car, your enemy AI car. What we're gonna do is um, place a tag down and the car follows that tag whatever that tags name this one's named T 
Then you want to action record that dot all around the track. It would be a dot. You want to action record that. You also want to turn down the Y here and here. And then you want to make the car as fast as you want to make it. Next, what you want to do is press L1 and square on your um, opponent car. Change this to the tag right here. Make sure this stuff is off, off. And we have our own follower thing. You might want to delete this follower from the enemy, but you might not have to. So, But just in case, you know. Other things you can mess with is if fell out of scene, you can try deleting that if you need to for your uh, character. And you can also delete this also from your opponent car. Make sure this is on none. And you might want to delete these two for the opponent car and your car maybe. As you can see, it's real simple. Then after that, all you have to do is worry about the track. Worry about the track and designing that. Again, making shortcuts and making your car faster, uh, the, uh, the enemy car, the opponent car faster, that's how you improve the AI. Just make sure it knows all the shortcuts, like when you're action recording the dot right there. Just make it go through the shortcuts and make sure whenever you're like um, going around stuff, if you don't want it to take like a short path through there, you might have to arch it. You just gotta mess around with it, but it's 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 simple. This is one of the simplest games you can make. Then you'll want to make sure you add your sound effects for your car and make it as realistic as possible. You can check out my how to make lives tutorial if you guys want to like add bars and stuff for that you know conjoin with the acceleration of the car all that stuff it's real simple to do this so this is what happens when you move the arrows just the regular speed if I hold R2 we're gone let's go see what the enemy car is doing over here it's actually really cool. And you might want to mess with, uh, for the enemy car, you honestly might want to mess with these settings up here too. Like the lean in and stuff, what happens with it, you know. Make sure the motion controls are turned down for both these cars. You might really want to mess with some stuff up here. And again, the hardest thing to do with this is just uh, getting it to where the car doesn't recognize the hitbox with the puppet right here, the puppet's hitbox. That's the that, that's just the hardest part. So that if, if uh, I left anything out, which I don't think I did, it's just uh, if you like have glitches and stuff where the car is like flopping everywhere. It's because it's colliding with the puppet hitbox. You gotta turn something off in the labels or in the collides or something, or make it movable or something, but it should just be my settings. It should honestly just be my settings that I showed you. And the reason why you don't want the Y and the follow is because then if the dot was to fly in the air, the car would start flying. That's what the Y means. And then after that, just add some stuff, checkpoints, all that great stuff, music, all that great stuff, and you are there. You can add ramps and stuff if you want to. Also, it's real simple to make these kind of games, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me in Dreams. I'm Young Text YouTube on Dreams, Young Text on YouTube, and Young Text on Twitch. You can follow me. Hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to make racing games in Dreams PS4. Enjoy PS4. Follow me here. Peace out.